had my first ice fishing experience in Connecticut with my buddy Derek. Now I'll post a link in the description below to the full video. I'm going to post part of it here so you guys can see what we got into. Pretty amazing experience, a lot of hard work. and uh, But this is what it takes to survive, especially in the dead of winter. We hiked a mile out to this spot on the ice and just the act of walking alone and carrying all your gear on a sled wears you out before you even get to the holes that you're going to dig. Now Derek dug about 40 to 50 holes across the ice as you can see here with a, a gas powered auger I guess they're called and that's just the beginning and then you got to set up the tip ups. You set up probably 10 to 15 tip ups in these holes you got to bait them set them in the holes you have to clear the holes because they gather ice inside it's intense work and we caught several fish I guess if we had to feed a family we'd be able to do that with the fish that we caught that day but I wanted to show you you know what it takes to survive that survival is even possible in the dead of winter a few of these fish provide the pr protein that you'd need uh, but it takes some hard work and so this is what Americans have gotten away from. We're comfortable in our living rooms and and we don't even find enjoyment in this type of thing anymore. But uh, please support Derek's fishing channel. Again, links in the description. He's got a lot of really cool videos. He's local here and we'll be doing a lot more fishing videos in the future. Take care and be safe, you guys. All right, so I'm out here with my boy entering the stars reloaded and we're ice fishing around stumps and brush piles for panfish and maybe some bass. If you enjoy the video, make sure you like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Oh, sat a bite. Wow. He's coming up. He's looking. You want to come see how it looks? Yeah. There you go. Oh. Ah. That is just a nice gill right there. What? You eating him or what? Oh, no thanks. No? Let's see how they respond to the... Uh... Well, there's definitely fish on these stumps. I just had one come looking at mine. I guarantee you there's fish right now looking at yours. You just gotta be patient, they'll hit. There he goes. Oh, nice as fish. Oh, beautiful crappie. Look at the colors on him. Oh my goodness, beautiful fish. So I don't know if you can see it, but all the way over there, it's a huge stump field. Stumps like this, right? And all we're doing, we got a bunch of tip ups set up and we got jigging holes set up about seven feet off of the side of each stump. And we're gonna jig these for panfish, bass, maybe pike. This could be a good little multi-species day. We're gonna have to see. Well, we got set up on a little flat, set all our tip ups up, didn't get one flag, but had a lot of success jigging around the stumps. So we're gonna move over to the stump field here and there. We're gonna make a change. We're gonna focus on jigging. I'm gonna put two holes next to each stump. We're gonna see if we can make something happen. Something's coming up. Oh, he hit it. Oh. Oh. Just had a bite. Marking, marking fish? Yeah. You can see all the way to the bottom with the way they the sun's angle. It's kind of lighting everything up. 
Oh, nice fish. Right? That feels like it's a small bass. That's what I'm talking about. Pretty fish. There he is. Oh, look at that gill. That's a healthy looking bluegill right there. I mean, it's the size of my hand. There he is. Woo! Another gill. I just moved this one. 